Hey YouTubers, sharing a low-cal peanut butter cookie recipe. It's really simple and easy. Uh, the recipe will be below. Uh, what I used for has no gluten in it at all. I used almond flour, oat flour, and rice flour. You could use a, also a combination of almond flour and uh, maybe coconut flour. I've used that before also. Just coconut is a little bit higher in carbs than almond flour is. You can use all almond flour if that's what you have or you could use something like the Bob's Red Mill uh, gluten-free flour. Um, what I did was I used a half a cup of almond flour, fourth a cup of rice flour, fourth a cup of oat flour, two heaping tablespoons of tapioca starch, half a cup of peanut butter powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, full teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt to three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, that's optional. Then I took a half a cup of peanut butter, half a cup of safflower oil, and three eggs, and mixed that well first, and then started incorporating all the dry ingredients into the peanut butter uh, mixture. Um, what you'll want to do is you'll want to beat it a little bit longer than you normally would flour. Um, this can actually help bind it all together a little bit better. Since you don't have the gluten, it um, just helps incorporate it a little bit better than what it would normally be. And you're also going to allow it to either set in the refrigerator for, say, 20 or 30 minutes, or you can even leave it for a couple of hours if you'd like, if that's convenient for you but you want to let it sit at least 10 to 15 minutes before you bake the cookies. I used a um, silicone liners in the pan. That works pretty well. You don't have to use parchment paper. Uh, you don't have to spray the pans. They're easy. When the cookies are done, they're easy to remove out. On convection, you only need to bake them right at five to six minutes, and that's it. If you're using a conventional oven, bake them probably seven to eight minutes. This is what they look like after you get them all mixed up. And I just used a small like ice cream scoop. This probably holds a tablespoon or a little bit more, maybe two tablespoons. And you just spoon them out individually and place them on the in the pans on either parchment paper or these silicone liners. Uh, these are really cheap. You can get them on Amazon and get two of them for less than five or six dollars. And place them in the oven and allow them to bake for five to six minutes. You don't want them uh, to get brown. It may cause them to get kind of tough or crunchy. I like mine soft. But if you like them brown, then cook them a little bit longer. I also used, added, I didn't tell you about the sugar, sorry about that. Um, either needs a half a cup of sugar. I used half Truvia brown sugar and half regular brown sugar. I don't like the aftertaste of using uh, totally sugar, <coughs> excuse me, sugar free of the Truvia. But if you're diabetic, then use all Truvia and it's going to cut the uh, sugar down, you know, by a lot. Uh, if you can't even take the sugar blend and you're diabetic, uh, you can use uh, some form of other diabetic sugar. And you might need to play with the amount that you put in it to so just add to the batter, taste it, and then just keep going. Hope you enjoy the recipe. If you have any questions, answer them. And we'll answer them through the comments. Have a good day. This is the Pressure Prepper, and I'm out.